Please share us your name and your school. Hi, my name is Debbie Kraling and I'm at George Washington University School. And what is your research topic? My research topic is behavior de-escalation using a tripolar approach. In in the psychiatric hospitals, the employees are being hurt. The patients are, are beating up the um, the nursing staff. And a very simple way to intervene and to decrease this is what I call the comfort plan. Okay, and basically, if you if you talk to a patient um, before a crisis and you find out what triggers them, what causes them anxiety, what they behave, what are their behaviors that indicate that they are, um, they have been triggered, and then what has worked in the past to decrease the anxiety, then you have a plan of action before the behavior escalation actually occurs. So, let's say, a patient says, loud noises trigger. And the way you know I'm triggered is I'll start pacing. And what has ha helped in the past is a hug or a drink of water, whatever it is, every patient's different. Now the fire alarm goes off. You see this patient get up and start walking. Right away you don't have to go and say, oh, what's wrong? You know what's wrong because you know this patient, you know loud noises trigger this patient. Not only that, you know what's going to work to decrease the escalation. So you skip that whole piece of trying to find out what, and you've addressed the escalation before it actually becomes higher, and the employee gets beat up. And what has been your personal experience? My personal experience has been, and this study um, kind of confirms it, that when you do this comfort plan, when you implement the comfort plan, the um, number of employees that are um, being hurt goes way down. Um, Almost nothing. That I also put restraints in this study. The number of patients being restrained goes way down. We were actually above 600. The um, numbers went down below six. So it, it, now there's another piece to this which I wasn't planning on, but I found out, and that's when the comfort plan was put into the computer as part of the um, patient record. It was no longer accessible. All the numbers went right back up. Uh, Thank you.